Hey y'all, Ramdino here, coming at you again for another Appalachian Trail through hiker and community news update. So thanks a lot for joining me on the channel today. One of the things I want to do here is recognize the veterans out there. This past week it was Veterans Day, so thank you to all my brothers and sisters out there that are veterans. I'm of course a veteran and thank you for all you did, all the sacrifices you and your family made. Uh, to make this country free and allow us to do the things that we like to do like hiking on trails all over the place thank you very much for that if you get anything out of this today give me a thumbs up that really helps the channel if you do that helps me with the uh, spread the word about the uh, through hikers and support them and the hiker community leave a comment uh, subscribe share this channel all that's free doesn't cost you a dime to do that so greatly appreciate that if you would help me with that uh, don't forget that we also have a glove giveaway for this week. We'll be talking about that a little later, but we get giving away a pair of TAC-9 or tactical gloves, uh, so stay tuned for that. We've also got some new things coming up on the channel. I'm adding to it that I'm really excited about it. We'll talk about those in just a little bit. Uh, but in the meantime, let's go ahead and talk about what you came here for, and that's the Thu Hikers. So the Praise Team, they are out there on the trail. They have hit 1,900 miles on their Sobo portion of their flip-flop, and they have entered the Smoky. So they took a few days off uh, to uh, take a few zeros, and now they are in, heading into the Smokies. Picked a great time to do it. It's going to be in the low 20s for the next couple nights, and then it'll be in the 30s at night. So, uh, But the Smokies are going to be really nice up there and looking forward to seeing how things are going with them uh, throughout their uh, track as they get through the Smokies, see if they get any kind of snow or anything like that. Red Beard, he is through the Smokies. He said the weather had been fantastic for hiking, and that he has a little over 200 miles before he gets to Springer. And also wanted to mention, if I didn't, that the Price team, they've hit the 1900 mark. So they don't have that much left either. And then I had a flip-flopper that reached out to me, gave me a really neat perspective, and that's Mona Leafa. And she gave me a really, uh, really neat perspective on her flip-flop. She's uh, 300 miles from her ending point. So she did what's called, or what's become known as a wraparound flip-flop. So she what she did is she started northbound and hiked from georgia up to sam's gap so she started springer and then got off the trail now she was still working full time so she had to get off the trail go back to her job then she quit her job skipped up to mcafee knob and then hiked nobo all the way to maine there summoned katahdin on october 15th came back after about a week and a half off and returned back to sam's gap and now she is northbound till she completes the Virginia Triple Crown. And she says she feels like a no-bo because she's done 1,800 miles as a no-bo. But also she's doing a flip-flop. So uh, she said the sunsets in the snow, that so apparently she went through some areas there when it was snowing. And she just said it was absolutely incredible the way things were working in the snow. So that's something for you, class of 2022, that it just has a whole different perspective. You know, when the woods go from green or from this color right here, even though this is gorgeous, the snow can be awfully gorgeous out there on the trail. Even though it's cold, it can still be awfully gorgeous out there on the trail. And she is uh, happy with the way she did her hike. She's really happy with it. She said she, when she's up in Maine, she was just getting tired and beat up from Maine. So when she got back here, it was just really, really neat to come back and do this. She says her whole hike has been rejuvenating physically, mentally, and spiritually. She wanted to give a big shout out to the Sobos that she's run into as she's on her Nobo portion. She says they have just been great, been full of energy, and just all excited to be getting close to the end of their hike. Uh, and she also indicated she loved the past video I did with Sunday. So I did a video recently here with Sunday in Fresh Ground Sunday. Uh, was a Sobo through hiker and she's through now, but Mona Leafa had actually run into Sunday in Massachusetts and she said she was just a, uh, a delight to be around and did a little bit of hiking with her and she was so happy to see her doing so well and almost done and that's the neat thing that i really like about doing this is connecting through hikers with each other connecting people in the hiking community and you folks out there you keep me spurred on to do this uh, and that's what this channel is all about about building the hiker community but bringing the hiker community together and so i just think that's neat to hear 
those kind of stories like that. And if you have a story where the channel did something like that for you, please include that in the comments below. That's just that that spurs me on to keep me doing this week after week. So we got a few folks off the trail, Luscious Nate and Tupac. They are off. They got uh, all the way on their Nobo hike. Got through the hundred mile wilderness, but of course Katahdin's closed, so they're going to have to come back and finish up their summit. Uh, I'm not sure if Nate and Tupac are going to come back at the same time with Luscious. Maybe if Luscious is out there, he can let us know, but or Nate and Tupac for that matter. But um, Luscious says he's coming back on his birthday, which I believe is December 7th. Uh, typically, Katahdin will be open then again because they'll have enough snow to protect the alpine environment there. And so um, Luscious is going to finish uh, his through hike sometime in December. Turtleback is off for the year. He said he was making good progress going, going subo in Maine, but he got to the Bigelow's, got his first big taste of winter there, uh, particularly winter at Maine at 4,000 feet, and he started encountering light snow, but what really got him was the ice that was on the rocks and the roots, and that changed his perspective. Plus, the temps were getting really, really cold at night, and so he has gotten off there at Stratton, and he'll be getting back on to finish off his hike uh, in the spring and early start who was our first uh, class of 2022 through hiker he was making really great time he was no bow all the way started at Springer and he got injured and his idea was he was going to go all the way to hot springs and then get off and get back on in the spring and finish up that way and in so doing he would be in front of the bubble unfortunately he got hurt uh, somewhere uh, just uh, short of Fontana and got in touch with me. So I uh, tried to get him a ride. I don't know if he actually was able to use the ride I gave him, uh, but it doesn't matter. Uh, he got off the trail. Uh, he's going to go to the doctor to get his back checked out. But in any case, he decides he's going to stay home, rehab that, get back on at Fontana in the spring. And in so doing, then he will just continue north there. said he was a little concerned about starting off the couch there at going right into the Smokies because Fontana is the doorstep right into the threshold, right into the Smokies. So when you're at Fontana Dam, you know, within a mile, you are heading up that big uh, incline going in the Smokies. And I read somewhere in a web mag that the Smokies is one of the most feared sections on the Appalachian Trail for through hikers. So typically that's because the elevation change is pretty drastic. That first day the, up there to, I think it's Russell Spence Shelter, you've got like eight or nine, 10 miles, something like that, that it's just all uphill, not a lot of downhill, uh, and if any. And so uh, that uh, kind of takes people by surprise. Uh, so that's pretty tough getting up there. And then a lot of early hikers that go through here, other hikers see their videos and it's cold and wet and snowy and icy and so that kind of gives puts a little fear into them even if they're not going through there at that time that still kind of concerns them uh, but the first day there in the Smokies is probably the roughest day you're going to have there as far as the elevation gain uh, and then after that I mean you're still going uphill to all the way to Newfound Gap uh, but after you get past Russell Spence it's pretty much uh, up and down, up and down from there. Still still gaining altitude all the way to Newfound Gap. Uh, but then once you get to Newfound Gap, you still got to come out of Newfound Gap a little more. Uh, but then after that, it's all downhill from there. So I did the Smokies uh, from the, uh, on the Nobo portion, did the first half right off the couch in my mid fifties. So I didn't have any kind of issues other than it was tough, but Hey, I did it, not a big problem there, uh, especially if you're a through hiker and you've already got your trail legs from Georgia and what you've hiked in North Carolina, you're gonna be fine. So it is really not a section to be feared in my opinion. And then we had a huge, huge finish uh, this past uh, week, or, and that was Nimblewood Nomad. So Nimblewood Nomad is the oldest hiker to finish the Apparat Appalachian Trail. He is 83 years old. And he actually hiked more than the trail. He started out at Flag Mountain, which is on the Penhody, uh, down uh, Penhody Trail down in Alabama. Uh, and he's a caretaker up there for uh, some cabins and a fire tower. So he hiked there, and that's 2,600 miles is the total amount that he did. So he is 83, and the uh, the he's the oldest. The the one that was 
the next oldest to him, and that was Graybeard, and he was the oldest record holder up until Nimblewood No Bad. And so now he has passed the hiking stick, and I don't know where this hiking stick came from. If somebody knows where this hiking stick came from, leave it in the comments down below. But he passed the hiking stick on to Nimblewood. Uh, Nimblewood has hiked 11 national scenic trails and, of course, several others, and he's hiked nearly 50,000 trail mags trail miles is what he's logged so that is awesome congratulations to you Nimblewood and all those people that supported him throughout his trip so that is that is just awesome 2022 registrations got folks that are registering on a regular basis there so we'll give you a quick update on that Nobo last time we updated you was the end of October we had 1,354 now we're up to 1,542 Nobo hikers that have registered on the ATC website we're up from 42 on flip floppers up to 60 and Sobo we're also up from 25 up to 60 so a little early to be for flip floppers and Sobos to get in a you know congealing around what that number is going to be certainly not necessarily on Nobo more people registering uh, but our totals right now are up from 1424 I'm, I'm sorry 1421 we're up to 1662 folks that have registered on the AT with on the ATC website you can probably add anywhere from 10 to 30 percent to that of people that are going to be hiking the biggest day so far that people are hiking which I believe we're maxed out is February 2nd and and the reason that is is because it's 2 2 22 or it might be even February 22nd also. So it'd be 2-2-2-2 two, 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 uh, is why those days are filling up there. So just keep that in mind when you're registering there. I know everybody wants to register on those, but it's going to be very crowded and it will be a mess at Hawk Mountain Shelter and for a long time with that many people on the trail. Right now, the maximum amount that the trail, uh, ATC saying the trail can carry is 50 hikers. So you know, 50 hikers is a lot of hikers, and most people stay there at Hawk Mountain Shelter. There ain't enough room there at Hawk Mountain Shelter for 50 hikers, even tenors and stuff like that. So it's going to be very, very crowded there. And we've got up to 78 folks that are on my hiker support list. So if you're a through hiker, 2022, you're interested in being on my hiker support list. Basically, that is a place where the hiking community can go and find your social media. And then we can support you all the way throughout your trip with comments. Sometimes we can support you with material stuff. Uh, you know, like maybe folks would leave you something out there on the trail or help you out if you have you know, some type of charity that you're hiking for or something of that nature. But in any case, if you want to be on that hiker support list, we want to go and support you with comments and just keep you pumped up all the way to Katahdin or Springer or wherever you're going to wind up. Uh, and that link down below, the form link is down below. You can sign that. And then also, if you're one of the hiker community and you want to support folks out there, then that link to that form uh, or not to form the link to the spreadsheet with all the hikers on it and right now we're up to 78 that's down below as well so a little bit of trail news out there we have had our first snow through the Rhone Mountain Highlands and the Great Smoky Mountains National Park don't think we got snow up there yet but boy it is short, sure gorgeous particularly through the Rhone when it snows up there that's one of my favorite spots a lot of balls high elevation balls up there so it's just gorgeous uh, but right now I don't think we got any snow. I looked at the newfound gap camera right before I started this and it doesn't look like there's any snow up there uh, in that parking lot. So I think you're good to go, but you can expect some snow in the next week. And then also the trail is flooded in Massachusetts. Uh, I know it probably only affects, flip, only affects flippers or section hikers. Or, or day hikers perhaps, but there's roughly a one mile section of AT around Tyringham, Massachusetts. It's flooded there from Jerusalem Road, which is Nobo Mile 1543.5 to Ty Tyringham Main Road, which is Nobo Mile 1544.6. So we had some heavy rain and flooding. It displaced some beavers. They built a dam and now that dam has backed up water right on up the Appalachian Trail. So. Unless you're going to be walking through that water, and it looks like it's at least knee deep in some places, uh, maybe more, unless you're going to be walking through it and it's cold up there, 
uh, there is a official reroute around that that you can get around it on the road. Not sure how far it is. Looks like it's a mile or two to get around it, but of course it doesn't affect uh, you if you're in that area working on your flip flop it through hike. Uh, it's still that work around is still an official detour, so that would still count if you're looking for credit uh, from the ATC. It's also still hunting season. Don't forget about that. I'm surprised we hadn't heard some guns go off behind me uh, a little earlier, but they've been going off all day out here. So be sure you wear orange somewhere on, you know, either in a toboggan or a cap or put it on something on top of your pack, something like that. We got a lot of hunters out there whose vision is not exactly great uh, and who get a little excited. We call it buck fever down here. Uh, so just be careful out there. Uh, not only for deer, but also for bear and also cougar. There's places on the trail we got cougars. So just look out for those cougars. Uh, and, and just remember, if you're in cougar country, it's better to travel with at least one other person. A tramley's better uh, because if you see a cougar, you don't have to be the fastest person. Uh, you can just knock their tracking pole out from underneath them or something like that. And uh, and then, then you are the fastest person and then the cougar is going to uh, not bother you uh, anymore. So they'll have other, other folks that they can deal with. So just keep that in mind uh, when you're in cougar country there. And so one of the things I said I was going to do before is I want to comment on people that had, you know, leave comments. So if, if you want to be a part of that, then leave me a, you know, you can ask a question. I'll try to answer it myself. If I don't come up with an answer, I'll either, uh, you know, ask a through hiker. And if I can't find a through hiker their answer, I'll make something up and it'll sound good. <laughs> or you just leave me some type of unique comment. So one of the unique comments uh, that we got left uh, this past time was uh, I brought up the pooping hammock. Uh, that a subscriber had sent in and another subscriber sent in just John from just John outdoors channel And he said he has a pooping hammock and he says it will change your backwoods pooping Experience it says it's one of the best four ounces in his pack it says it is not big enough to, to sleep in so you can't poop in your sleep can't use it for a regular hammock uh, so I don't know about you guys, but I like one, I like gear that serves a dual purpose. So I was hoping it'd be big enough to sleep in so that you could also just poop in your sleep in it. Uh, and sorry for the crappy subject, but it's not my fault. But another thing is, is that when I go to do that in the woods when I'm hiking, typically I'm doing it at the last minute. I'm not planning ahead. So I just don't have time to put up a hammock, dig a cat hole, make sure everything's all lined up, then get in the hammock, make sure I'm lined up with the hole in the hammock, and that I'm lined up also with the cat hole. I know two points make a straight line, but if you're in a hammock swinging, that's going to be a little hard to do in my opinion. So I just don't think the pooping hammock is something that, that would be of use to me. I'm sure it's of use to somebody. Just John said it changed his experience out there. So that's awesome. Christmas is coming up. So, hey, look into it. Still looking for some trail angels to sign up to be on the public and the private list. Those uh, sign up uh, links are down below. So if you're a trail angel out there who's willing to help people get off the trail in an emergency or help people get to town, uh, help people resupply, whatever you would like to do with people that need to contact you on the trail, those links are below. Of course, the public, everybody will have a link. Uh, or we'll be able to see that here on my channel in the private. I only give that out to people that I have verified as through hikers. So please sign up for that. That really helps folks out out there on the trail. And so the Tac Niner Tactical Glove, the winner for that is Barry Etheridge. So Barry, if you'll send uh, you, your uh, email me through my email below, send me your mailing address. I'll get the folks over at Tac Niner to send you that tactical glove, and they'll send it direct to you. And I uh, hope you enjoy that. Uh, and that's a Christmas present uh, from Tac Niner to you for this year. And then come back next week, we'll have an all-new sponsor and we'll have an all-new gear giveaway on my next upcoming update. Uh, still again, don't forget to comment and subscribe. Some, one of the new things that I didn't mention about the channel is I want to add a section uh, where I can get a through hiker to respond to some questions. So 
uh, if you're a through hiker out there, it doesn't matter if you through hike this year, last year, whenever. Uh, if you'd like to be a part of that, send me a DM or an email so that we can use you as a resource. I know most through hikers want to give back to the hiking community and help the next class coming along. So, you know, whatever it, it will be, it will be quick, maybe a quick video, maybe just a quick uh, voicemail message that you leave here. So, but if I can count on you to do that, then uh, leave me, or you can just leave a comment down below. And uh, likewise, I'll use you as a resource, and that would be great to help out the hiker community, the through hikers, and this channel. Folks, thanks a lot for watching. Appreciate you, and we'll see you out here.